You don't really know much about Halloween. I'm Joel and welcome to our unboxing video. I don't know what the hell this is going to be, but I recently got an order from Grindhouse Video and I am going to now open it and show you what's inside. So bear with me here as this is the first time we've done this and so we're going to learn together. All right. What is Grindhouse Video? Grindhouse Video is a distribution company that sells, uh, they have a brick and mortar store which is going to be closing soon, uh, unfortunately, but they sell um, videos from boutique labels and otherwise on the website at grindhousevideo. I'll put it here, I can't remember if it's net or com. And um, actually, if you want the best deal on videos, that's the place you should go. Just a little sidebar from me to you. Um, all right, so the first one in the box is the carrier. If I remember correctly, I believe this is from 1990. Got to make sure you can see it there. It is a kind of post-apocalyptic movie that I've heard a lot of interesting things about. And uh, these are all blind buys, incidentally. So these are all things I haven't seen yet. Um, and so uh, I like to kind of see what uh, what's out there in kind of the independent subgenre, weird things out in the world. So. That is the first one in the list, or on the on the thing there. Then we've got, ah yes, The Beast from the Haunted Cave. This is a uh, bee monster movie from 1959, which if uh, you've never heard of this film, it is kind of notorious for uh, being not the greatest movie on the planet. But um, I am excited to see this because I love a good old monster movie, thanks to my father. and. This one is one that kind of is a classic. Next we've got The Curse of the Blue Lights, which I don't remember too much about this one. This is another one that I believe is from, I should have my glasses on, the late 80s and is a, a lo-fi um, regional horror movie, which I've kind of recently kind of been digging into regional horror thanks to the, um, trying to think of what the box set is called the hometown homegrown horrors collection that uh, now has two volumes out and I believe this one is from Colorado if I remember correctly uh, this is a vinegar syndrome release which I probably should have said what those were but now I can't remember yeah this is, is from uh, Johnson Colorado and regional horror movies have their own flair because it kind of gives you a, a screenshot or a, a encapsulation of the area at the time and sometimes different regions of the, the country give you a different flavor. So if you like your movies a little obscure, different, uh, unique, check out regional horror films. This is Blood Feast, The Adventures of Sergeant Lunch. Now this one is a shot on video movie that uh, is from the 90s, which is uh, was made by a group of guys that were on a, uh, a base. And in their downtime, they decided to make a movie. As far as what the, the premise of this is, I don't remember. <laughs> Again, these are blind buys. I just remember reading about it in uh, one of the books that I've read about shot on video horror, which is my uh, recent kind of obsession. And this one is one that uh, kind of gets talked about a little bit as being a bit of an obscurity. So something fun to check out if you like your video lo-fi and low grade. Then we've got Amazon Jail 1 and 2. Um, I like exploitation films. This one is a uh, two-parter that is... Um, there was a whole subgenre of of prison pictures. This was from eighty, looks like the early eighties. I can't quite make out the dates again. I should have my glasses on. This is an Italian film, and I don't own many films like this, but this one kind of popped on my radar as being one that maybe to check out. So we're gonna kind of start a journey there. Not the first time I've seen one, but uh, I don't really own any. Um, oh yes, I forgot about this one. Vampires and other stereotypes. Again, another shot on video one that uh, is 
an oddity that I've read about a lot, but it wasn't available. It's a, a Kevin J. Lindemuth film, which if you are familiar with uh, the, the low-budget community, you'll know that name. And uh, this one is kind of... I don't know. It's got a it's got a good reputation, but if you look it up online, uh, the reviewers might tell you differently. It's a very an acquired taste. This is a Visual Vengeance release, which I didn't notice that until right there. They make uh, good releases for low budget and lo-fi stuff that is sometimes hard to find. And the last thing we're going to talk about in here is the the box set that started the whole purchase here. Once I found that this was coming, I was trying to find a good deal on it, and then was like might as well get some other things because I'm paying for shipping as it is. Uh, this is the the uh, criminal acts of Todd Slaughter. This is an imprint. Um, I'm sorry, indicator release. It's a UK label. Uh, they've started releasing things in uh, that is all region, and have I've got several of their box sets and they're all beautifully done. They've always got this nice little label here. Todd Slaughter is a kind of the Boris Karloff of the UK. He never came over to the States because he kind of wanted to remain true to his homeland. Um, he always plays villainous evil characters. These are eight of his notorious films. Um, included on here are uh, Maria Martin or The Murder in the Red Barn, The Tickets of Leave Man, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, uh, Sex and Blake and the Hooded Horror, The Crimes of Stephen Hawk, The Face at the Window, it's never too late to mend and crimes in the dark house. He's kind of this uh, titular, titular, is that the right word I'm looking for? Kind of curly mustached, kind of bad guy. Um, but I've never heard of him until this box set came to light and everything I've read just piqued my interest and I love a good old black and white horror movie. And so here we go. So if, if you've never heard of Indicator, they tend to be a little bit on the higher side price-wise, but if you shop around, you can find a good deal, and I definitely recommend everything I've seen so far. So for this unboxing, I'm Joel. I'm one of the Newly Deads. If you want to check out our other content, uh, we're available on YouTube. We also have a show on Tingler Television. You can find that at tinglertelevision.com. Uh, you can also head to our website at thenewlydeads.com uh, or our Facebook page. You can find out more about us and what we do. So if this is something you want to see more of, I'll try to get better with my content and my research and uh, I do these I get boxes pretty semi-frequently so uh, yeah we'll go from there all right see you later oh yeah I gotta hit the button